Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today I want to introduce the DJI Z3 camera. It is actually the first 4K drone camera that features an internal zoom function and this is the gadget that I have been waiting for. This might be my number one camera. Let's just take it to the test and before we do so, don't forget to leave a thumb up, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, product links pointing at the Z3 itself and at its accessories can be found in the video description below. Stay tuned, fly safe. The new Z3 camera has a total weight of 262 grams. It offers a USB port at the back and a micro SD card slot at the side. The Z3, like its predecessor, is 3-axis stabilized. But DJI improved the stabilization, while the older X3 camera was attached to the gimbal with a single motor bracket only, the new Z3 looks and feels a lot sturdier due to the dual motor bracket that holds it steady and in place, as zoom lenses need to be held in place even more stable than wide angle lenses as every single vibration gets magnified the higher the focal length is. Let's right now talk about the function that might make this camera a game changer. Let's take a look at the zoom function. I often heard that a zoom lens would be senseless as you could simply fly your drone closer to an obstacle to achieve the same look. Unfortunately, that's not true. A higher focal length does not only make obstacles appear smaller or bigger, but it changes the field of view drastically. The higher the focal length, the more you move away from a cheap action camera look, the narrower does the image look like. Ask yourself why photographers carry around plenty of lenses instead of just moving closer or farther away from their point of interest. If you want to step up the ladder and create more professional looking areas, then you should invest into higher focal length lenses, as no flight maneuver can change your footage's field of view. The lens is the real game changer and might make this lens a must have. While most drones offer a wide angle view only, the new Z3 is equipped with an internal zoom lens that creates a real cinematic look on the one hand side and it gives the operator the ability to easily get to see details, for example when using the camera for industrial inspections or rescue operations on the other hand. Let's right now take a look at the main screen of the app. We see that it looks quite familiar, nothing has really changed besides that we now find a T and a W button on the main screen at the right hand side and if we now tap and hold onto the T button we can use the optical zoom and zoom into the image which is quite cool and once we let go the auto focus focuses or we can tap at whatever we want to be sharp and in focus and the camera then adjusts the focus again. And once we switch into the photo mode, we can even zoom in further, which is quite cool for photos. So if you're on an inspection or something like that, you can get really, really close. The DJI Z3 camera is supported by the Inspire One, by the Matrice 100, the Matrice 600, and after some testing, I can say, that my Z3 works perfectly on the Osmo as well, even though DJI officially claims it to be not working on the Osmo. I tested it, I recorded some footage successfully. Next to that, I was able to open up all menus, I was able to zoom in and out, I was able to focus everything I needed to. It worked perfectly on the Osmo as well. The focal length of the new Z3 can be set onto values between 22mm until 77mm. That gives the operator a field of view of 92 degrees wide angle until 35 degrees when being zoomed in all the way. As most zoom lenses, the widest possible aperture depends on the focal length. When filming in wide angle, you get an f-stop of 2.8 and when zooming in all the way, you get an f-stop of 5.2. The lens is perfect for daylight filming and at night time you can still use it when filming in wide angle mode. Finally, there's one more cool thing. You can use the X3 and D filters on the Z3 as well, which is quite handy as you don't have to purchase everything new. Uh, by the way, product links can be found in the video description below as well. Now, should you purchase one of those cameras? I would recommend these cameras for either industry professionals, for example, for search and rescue missions or for inspections of all kinds, but mainly I recommend the Z3 for filmmakers and photographers that want to enter the professional level of aerial photography um, without having to spend 
thousands of dollars and without um, the need of knowing how to use professional lenses and filters and there's no need to balance anything here. For example, on the X5 you have to balance um, each single lens. So it's a lot easier using the Z3 for your first steps in the professional aerial industry. Now that was magic, wasn't it? You can find the product links down there in the video description below. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a thumb up, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned, fly safe and check out tomstechtime.com slash Z3 for some test footage that is ungraded and untouched and you can download that and watch it yourself or mess around with it in your editor or whatever you want to do. Have a great day. This was Tom from CDD Tom's Tech Time over and out. Stay tuned, fly safe. Let's right now talk about something really cool and I'm gonna stop talking as the wind is too stupid. Stay in the life, stay in the life. This is the Florida feeling. Ha <laughs> ha! But the problem is that I'm the Alaska type of a guy I need it cold and icy. I am the alone underhalter and I am talking German English. Word by word translated for you. Let's come up with some nice sayings. There is the dog getting in the pan crazy. Da wird doch der Hund in der Pfanne verrückt. <laughs> I believe me kicks a horse. Ich glaube, wie war das Deutsch? Ich glaube, mich drin. Sagt man das so? Wir verkaufen es zumindest den Amis, so als würde man das so sagen. Okay, guys, that was something you need to use when traveling to Germany. I think my pig whistles. Ich glaube, mein Schwein pfeift. Now you know some good old German saying. That was the German lesson. Sicher! Wenn der wichtigste Text jetzt wegen dir verhudelt ist, dann bist du Hackfleisch. Hackfleisch. First of all the physical zoom and next of all optical and digital. Okay. <laughs> Schweinebacke du. We normally know that digital zoom is something stupid. We hate digital three.